Teguk refers to the source of everything in the universe and the universal law in which everything continuously goes through cycles of creation and destruction. Teguk Yukjan stands for Gam and symbolizes the endless flow of water and its flexibility. Teguk Yukjan is the final stage of the intermediate course and is characterized by a smooth and flexible connection when performing moves in succession or changing direction. We will now take a look at the Pumse of Teguk Yukjang. Teguk Yukjang consists of five key moves. Sonnar Orgul Bituromaki, Dolyo Chagi, Orgul Pakatmaki, Are Hechomaki, and Patang Son Anmaki. These are the key moves of Teguk Yukjang. We will now take a closer look at each of the key moves of Teguk Yukjang. Sonnar Olgur Bituromaki is a technique used to perform Olgur Bakanmaki using the performance thrusting foot and the opposite hand blade. First, twist your torso about 45 degrees from the Apgubi posture. Your arms should cross and pass in front of your face and Bakanmaki performed with the tip of your hands facing upward. Your blocking arm should cross outside your assisting arm. Be careful not to let your hand blade move outside the end of the line from your shoulder. The knee of your hind leg should not bend, and your sole must not leave the ground. Dolyochagi is a technique used to spin and kick a target. Your kicking foot draws an arc outside in. Use the top of your foot and ball to strike the target. After kicking a target, Perform a spinning kick by twisting your torso as if you're spinning your shoulder on the same side backwards. Bakanmaki is a technique used to block, defend your face inside out using your wrist. Your blocking arm should cross past your face from outside your assisting arm to perform the bakanmaki. Your elbow should point downward, your fist upward, and at a philtrum elevation. Be careful not to let your blocking wrist move outside the end of the line from your shoulder when performing the move. Are Hechomaki is a technique used to block the lower body by crossing your arms in an X formation. It begins with your arms crossed in an X formation in front of your chest. Lower your arms to your lower abdomen, then block the lower part of your body from both sides. When blocking your lower body, your arms should straighten naturally, and the space between your fist and legs should be about two raised fists length. Also, the back of your hammer fist and your front thigh should be aligned when seen from the front. Batangson Anmaki is a technique used to block, defend the torso inward by using the palm of your hand. Raise the fist of your assisting arm slightly to your solar plexus level. Your blocking hand should start about one hand length above your shoulder to block inward. When blocking, the palm of your hand should be placed in front of your solar plexus and your armpit should be touching your body. Your elbow should point downward. Block by pulling the elbow of your blocking arm to your body 
and pull the elbow of your assisting arm at the same time, brushing the waist. These are the key moves of Teguk Yukjang. We will now look at the moves in succession, connecting each move. The key moves of Teguk Yukjang, first part, consist of Oren Aremaki, Oren Abtagi, and Wen Pakkatmaki, and Wen Abtagi, and Oren Momtong Pakkatmaki. Bend your knee after performing Abtagi, then perform preparatory Pakkatmaki by crossing both arms in front of your chest. Complete the maki by touching the ground with your kicking foot. Concentrate on naturally connecting the two moves when training. Cautions for Teguk Yukjang, first part, taking a closer look. When performing Duiro Doradiki by spinning 180 degrees from Oren Dikubi, shift your weight to your left leg. Spin using the ball of your foot as an axis, then set your foot. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Yukjang, first part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Teguk Yukjang, second part, consist of Oren Bituromaki, Oren Doryochagi, and Wen Pakatmaki, and Oren Jirugi, Oren Aptagi and when jirugi, oren pakatmaki, and when jirugi, when aptagi, and oren jirugi, and are hechomaki. After performing oren doryochagi, set your foot so the tip of your kicking foot points in the direction of progression about one and a half steps forward. Then, set your left foot 90 degrees to the left and perform Pakatmaki and Oren Jirugi in succession. After Aptagi, bend your knee and perform preparatory Jirugi. Then complete Jirugi when the kicking foot touches the ground. Cautions for Teguk Yukjang, second part, taking a closer look. When setting your kicking foot forward after Doryochagi, your steps should not be too narrow. When your arms cross during are hechomaki, the inside outside of your arms must switch. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Yukjang second part in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Teguk Yukjang, third part, consist of Wen Bituromaki, Wen Doryochagi, and Oren Aremaki, Wen Aptagi, and Oren Pakatmaki, Wen Aremaki, and Oren Aptagi, and Wen Pakatmaki. After performing Wen Doryochagi, set your kicking foot about one and a half steps forward. Set your right foot backwards. Then spin your torso to the right. Perform Oren Aremaki by spinning and setting your foot backwards in one move using the ball of your left foot as an axis. Bend your knee after Aptagi. Then perform preparatory Pakadmaki by crossing your arms in front of your chest. Complete Maki by setting your kicking foot. Always keep in mind that the two moves should connect naturally. Cautions for Teguk Yukjang, third part, taking a closer look. Always remember that moves consisting of two or three consecutive moves must connect naturally without any break. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Yukjang, third part, in succession while watching the video. The key moves of Teguk Yukjang, fourth part, consist of Wen Sonnal Kodoromaki, 
오른 손날 고도로 막기, 왼 바탕 손안 막기, and 오른 지르기, and 오른 바탕 손안 막기, and 왼 지르기. Shift your weight to your left foot from the previous move. Set your right foot 90 degrees to the right. Then perform 왼손날 고도로 막기 and 지르기. Next, shift your weight to your right foot. Set your left foot back. Twist your torso. Then take the preparatory sonar maki posture. At the same time, your left heel should also point in the direction of your set back foot. Place the palm of your hand in front of your solar plexus. Be careful not to let your armpits move away from your body and your elbows should point downward. Quickly transition to jirugi after performing batang son maki. Set your foot backwards in a straight line. Cautions for Teguk Yukjang, fourth part, taking a closer look. When assuming the baro posture, move your front foot backwards. When stepping back, the foot moving back should set first and not draw an arc in the process. Be careful not to overdo the spin the moment your foot touches the ground. We will now practice the moves of Teguk Yukjang, fourth part, in succession while watching the video. This concludes the training for Teguk Yukjang. We will take another look at the moves and master Pumse. We have looked at the key moves of Teguk Yukjang and provided thorough explanations for each move and things to watch out for. Please continue with your training, reminding yourself of the flexibility of water that symbolizes Teguk Yukjang, concentrating on the natural flow of the moves. We'll see you again in the Teguk Chiljang video. Thanks for watching.